We are back in the After Media Lab. A big thank you to Caleb Gassner and to Zach Newmark for producing this video. We are learning the Sefer Betuche Chotam from Rabbeinu Yaakov Avi Chatzira, and it is Parshas Tzav. The Torah opens up with its Tzivoy. Tzav es Aram is born of Lamar. Command Aaron and his sons to say, Zeus Teiras Ha'oila. This is the law of the Oila, the carbon Oila. He Oila Mikta Al Mizbech Kalalayla. This is the Oila that would go up on the Mizbech all night at a biker until the morning. Ve'esh Mizbech to Kadbay, the fire of the Mizbech would keep going. Would be burned on it. Gewalt. You know, one of the fundamentals of Yiddishkeit is tshuva. Tshuva means that even if you messed up and you, you wanted to do the right thing and you didn't, or even if you didn't want to do the right thing, yeah, Baruch Hashem gives us an opportunity to make amends, to do tshuva, and to fix our ways. Charata, feel bad for what we did. Vidoy, Kabbal Haba, making a pact to do better. Global tshuva, just like Kodesh Baruch, I want to come back to you. An ikr of Yiddishkeit is tshuva. And the ikr of teshuva really is shviras halev, is to feel it. It shouldn't be lip service. You should really feel it. Baruch you know, mm, I messed that up. I, I want to do better. I want to be better. I want to come closer to you, Kodesh Baruch Hu. That's the ikr of tshuva, is the shviras halev. We also find that there are three essential ingredients that help for kapar savanis, to help us get forgiven for the sins we did. Those three things are tzayim, fasting. A person fast, we find in the Megillah, that will lean, that once they heard about the decree, everybody was fasting. We have a tainus Esther that we're going to fast as a sign of, of you know, we take serious, seriously the avoida of the yid, this fasting. There's koil, the voice, and that's the koil of Torah and the koil of tefillah. And the third ingredient is mammon, using our money for something positive, and that's by giving tzedakah, giving charity. Tzayim, koil, and mammon. Each of these are powerful ways to uh, get to a kapar savainis. Now, what's amazing about these three components to to, to tshuva is that they all have the same gematria. Tzayim is 136, Koyal is 136, and Maman is 136. The significance of them having the same gematria means that they're all equal, they're all effective. They're on the same bar. Some people can fast, some people can, can, can learn, some people can daven, and some people can give charity. And they're all equally effective, they have the same gematria. If you put the three of them together, that means you want to do a tshuva mu'ula, like a great tshuva, if you can do all three, that's fantastic. Three times 136 equals 408. 408 is the gematria of Zeus. Now you look through the Torah, every time you see the word Zeus now, it's going to have a new meaning to you. Yaakov says, perhaps this is what David HaMelech alludes to when he says, Zeich nechemasi ba'ani. This is my comfort. In my affliction. When I did something wrong, what brings me nechama? How do I do tshuva for that? What brings me back? And I feel like, oh, I got a complete tshuva. That's zeis. That's the tzayim, koil, and maman. Through fasting, through learning, and through tzedakah. That's Zeis. David Amalek says Zeis. Through all three of those, Nechmasiyah, then I'm comforted in my pain, in my affliction, in my things that I've done wrong. This is how I can, I fix them up. Now, if you have to know, well, what happens if I can't do all three? Maybe I can only do, you know, that's like the, the best. If I had to choose one, which one would I choose? So the M- Mishnah and Paya tells us Talmud Torah Keneged Kulam. That yes, they're each equal in a way. But if you feel like, you know what, if I'm going to fast, I'm not going to be able to learn so well. And if I have to go earn more money to give tzedakah, it's going to take away time to learning. So you know what? I'm going to focus on Talmud Torah. That's great. If you could do all three, fantastic. But if you could only do one, says Rabbi Yaakov, Talmud Torah is the way to go, learning Torah. 
and says Rabbi Yaakov, and have a remiss for this in this week's parsha. Tzavas Aaron Bez Bonav Limor Zeis. If you take the Rashi Tevis, that's the first letter of each of these words in this phrase. So you take the Tzadik Aleph Aleph Vav Beis Lamed and Zion. That gives you 137. That's the word Tzayim, which is to fast, plus one is the Kail for the word itself, gives you 137. So I have a remez in the Pasuk so far to Tzayim. Maikta al hamizbayach kol, the Rashi Tevis of that, the, that phrase of the Pasuk, Mem, Ayin, He, and Kaf, gives you 136, the Gematria of Mamun. So we see, you could do Itzayim or Maman are, are both good. But the Torah ter- ter- tells us, but Zeis Teiras Ha'ayla. You want to know which one is Mu'ula? Which one is the best if I only have a choice of th- uh, of one out of the three? The one to do, the one that's Ayla, the one that's Ayla al Kulana, the one that's the best, that's the Torah. Talmud Torah is Ayla al Kulana. So with Baruch Hashem, we should be zeichah. If we do something's wrong, it happens sometimes. We should be zeichah to do tshuva. And if we want to pump up that tshuva, we have to remember that tshuva always needs to come with shriyas halev, with a feeling. And we can add to that with tzayim, with koil, and with mamin. But to always remember that Talmud Torah is keneged kulam. Have a wonderful Shabbos.